Welcome, Booty TV lovers, to a new video. In today's video we are going to explain what the new device of the RGB Pi family is about, the RGB Pi Plus. So go ahead intro, and let's get started. Maybe this is the first time you hear about RGB Pi Plus, and it is no wonder, because it is the newest device in the RGB Pi family. After the launch of the SCART model and later the JAMA model, our beloved leader decided to create a third device. As you already know, the SCART model is designed for domestic televisions and the JAMA model for original arcade machines. But there is an intermediate space for all fans of the world of gadgets who like to make their own arcade sticks or bar tops. With the RGB Pi SCART they were forced to use USB encoders in the case of using JAMA they would be required to use an arcade power supply. That is where RGB Pi Plus comes in. For the same price as a RGB Pi SCART, we will have our RGB output with the same quality, as always, but also two inputs for controls with up to eight buttons per player. Suggestion, directly connected to the PIO port of the Pi. There is no need for an external power supply, only the usual plug for a Raspberry. The flexibility that its design offers us will allow us to install it practically anywhere, turning an arcade stick into an independent unit with its own audio and video connector and the entire system housed inside. We will go on to see more specifically what the device is about and how to connect it. As we can see, the board itself already describes what the function of each pin is by means of icons. Additionally, we support a diagram on our web page to clarify its connection to an audio and video connector. We can choose the connector that we like the most, but we recommend the Mini DIN 9 and a Genesis 2 cable. Bear in mind that some console cables have resistors and capacitors on the RGB pins, and we must remove them to have the highest image quality. For installing the buttons, we must always connect them between the selected pin and ground. Never connect a button to 5 volts, or the board may be irreversibly damaged. There are three ways to connect the board. We can hardwire the cables directly to the board. If we prefer to choose DuPont connectors later on we can solder the male connector extension to it. The male connector offers a practical solution, and is included in every shipping of a RGB Pi Plus. It is also possible to plug in a 2x20 contact female head, of the same type that is used for the GPIO of the Raspberry. It is necessary to have a basic knowledge of welding, but don't let this put you back, it is extremely simple. Once all the soldering has been completed, the order of the buttons on the control panel must be in the order that we can see below. The operating system is already internally responsible for configuring all arcade games one by one to work with the original mapping of each game. There is no need rack our brains over the mappings as we are used to in PC emulators, here we will have everything factory set. Thanks to Davidam for lending us this wonderful arcade stick inspired by a Sega Astro City panel, which incorporates the first prototype of RGB Pi Plus, that is the reason for the white color of the board. As always, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to keep up to date with what's new in the RGB Pi world. A kiss to everyone and bye bye.